Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Okay, so today we'll discuss about another institution whose registration is uh, kind of open, right? Uh, well before the CVT exam. And uh, this is uh, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar School of Economics, right? And this institution hai, that is based out of Bangalore, Karnataka, right? Okay, so first of all, let's go to the page, buddy. Okay, so most of uh, these universities, right? Yes, sab aap, uh, CVT ke uh, jo bhi list of universities hai for uh, CVT uh, PG economics. Wahan pe aap, uh, overall dekh sakte ki kaun -kaun se options aapke paas hai, right? And Dr. B. R. Ambedkar School of Economics is uh, one of the top rated institution when it comes to uh, Bangalore side, wahan pe agar koi bacha padna chata, right? So in that context, along with Christ, you have, I guess, and you have uh, uh, Dr. B.R. Ambedkar School of uh, Economics, right? So there are a couple of more institutions. So particularly for the students who want to take admission wahan pe, us side pe, right? Uh, for them, this is, uh, this is a good option, right? Uh, another thing is ki, uh, they don't teach only one domain of economics yahan pe do courses hote hain that we'll discuss uh, going forward and what is the eligibility criteria kya date of registration and all in a quick uh, overview we'll just go through that right okay so this is their their home page uh, for for base base bangalore right uh, don't get confused with uh, dr ambedkar university delhi that's a se separate entity based out of delhi kashmiri gate and this is another institution that is based out of Bangalore, Karnataka, right? So both the universities, both the institutions are completely different, right? Okay, so if we talk base, ki baat kare, base Bangalore, ki baat kare, so they offer you two, co two domain in Masters in Eco. One is your MSc Eco, which is your core economics. The other one is domain specific, which is financial economics, right? So if you have seen it now, there are many institutions hai, uh, they have now kind of started domain specific masters in eco, right? And basis among those who has started, who started actually initially with uh, financial eco and MSc eco altogether. So, dono courses from day one they had started. And uh, again, in number of seats you have, there are approximately 30 seats in each of the courses, right? Agar ap yahan pe dekhoge, there are two courses, again, both two year programs. One has 30 seats, another also has 30 seats. So in total, you have roughly 60 seats altogether for both the uh, both the courses combined. Okay. So this is the number of seats ki, uh, and domain. Ki, right? Two domain hai, MSc Eco and MSc Financial Eco. Right? Number of seats, 30 each. Now, coming to the eligibility part. Like I told you, nowadays, most of the universities have kept the eligibility common. It is common and easy rakhi eligibility so that maximum students are eligible for their institution. Okay? Over here, candidate must have completed BA, BSc honors in economics. Yeah, again, economics with mathematics stats as a with econometrics as major course. Or BSc, BA economics with at least two papers of mathematics for economics. Okay, so almost a uh, second. Let's just go through it once again. Should have completed BSc and BA honors in economics. That is one option, straightforward. Dusra option is BSc, BA in economics with mathematics and statistics slash econometrics as major course. Matlab, agar aapne honors nahi ki hai, then you need to have mathematics and along with stats slash econometrics as major codes. Take care. So this is for non honor students. Again, further, or BSc and BA economics with at least two papers of mathematics for economics and two papers of statistics for economics slash econometrics with mathematics as a core subject in plus two, with minimum 55 percentage. Okay, cool. So what they have done is ki unhone focus kiya hai quantitative sites mein wherein they have mandatorily asked that you need to have mathematics along with statistics in your graduation. Thik hai, agar aapne honors nahi ki hai in eco, then you need to have mathematics along with uh, statistics 
that's a mandatory combination mathematics and stats ha stats mein you have an alternate of econometrics as one of the major courses right but maths and stats go along with the course and it is mandatory that makes sure ki jo aapki eligibility hai that is focusing on the quantitative sides matlab you are strong from a quantitative side as well along with it they have asked for mathematics in their plus 2 as well with minimum 55% right so ye kafi stood because of maths kafi students shayad uh, is uh, eligibility criteria ko fulfill na kar paaye unless you are a bsc or ba honors in economics agar aap bsc ya ba economic honors ho then you are eligible right away without any issue lekin agar aap non honors ho then you need to have mathematics and stats along with your course in the graduation so that will filter out many students because of this eligibility which is restricting because of mathematics and stats right so kafi tricky eligibility hai at least in ke case mein uh, and you need to be double sure ki you are eligible for for base right again in terms of admission process it is taking admission via cut pg right so you have already filled the form then your scores will be taken in, into account and you will be considered for admissions right ab uh, now what is the last date last date of uh, application for base so according to them the last date of online application will be one week after the cut pg result declaration so almost all the students all the institutions have followed the same approach which is uh, one or two week after the result kehne ka matlab ye hai ki koi bhi registration result se pehle close nahi hogi all of them have kept it open at least one uh, week ya two weeks post the result is out so that gives liberty to students ki ha i have seen my score mujhe mera cvt ka result pata hai now i know where exactly to apply what all options do i have last me yahi hota hai ki that you kind of run out of options theek hai so in this way all the options are still open right okay uh, eligibility is the only confusing part yahan pe ठीक है बाकी यू हैव गुड अमाउंट ऑफ सीट्स डिसेंट अमाउंट ऑफ सीट्स तो उससे स्टूडेंट टीचर रेशियो इज आल्सो मेंटेन्ड स्मॉल बैच साइज है राइट एप्लीकेशन क्लोजेस वन वीक पोस्ट द रिजल्ट्स आर आउट फॉर सीयूटी एंड द रजिस्ट्रेशन फॉर्म आप यहां से क्लिक करके आप जा सकते हो आई जस्ट टेल यू वन सेकेंड या सो दिस इज योर रजिस्ट्रेशन पोर्टल फॉर बेस दैट बिकॉज आई टोल्ड यू की ईच वन ऑफ यू हैव टू रजिस्टर सेपरेटली ऑन दर University website, right? क्योंकि अगर आप यहाँ पे भी जाओ वन सेकेंड आई शो यू ओके सो अगेन दे आर मल्टीपल कोर्सेज टू ईयर प्रोग्राम में जैसे मैंने आपको बताया एम एस सी को एंड फाइनेंशियल ई को दस द एलिजिबिलिटी अगेन आई से इट्स अ ट्रिकी एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया मतलब फोकसिंग अलॉट ऑन मैथमेटिक्स एंड इकोनोमेट्रिक्स विच शोज की जो कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर होगा वो भी शायद क्वांट ड्रिवन होगा या क्वांट हैवी रहेगा दैट इज वाई उन्होंने आपसे मैथ्स एस काइंड ऑफ अ मैंडेटरी चीज मांगी है इन एलिजिबिलिटी ठीक है सो आई फील द कोर्स कंटेंट शुड जस्टिफाई इट ओके एंड एडमिशन प्रोसीजर वो अपन ने कर लिया मैं कुछ जैसे एक लास्ट चीज आपको शो करना है यहाँ पे एडमिशन डिटेल या दैट दैट यू नीड टू रजिस्टर सेपरेटली फॉर फॉर बेस अपार्ट फ्रॉम सी यू टी रजिस्ट्रेशन ठीक है सो वी नो कि सीओ क्यू पी टेन आपका पेपर कोड है या सेम टाइमलाइन जो आपका सीयूटी के वेबसाइट पे है नो चेंज आर सच ठीक है इट्स मोर ऑल इज द सेम हाँ ये था अगर आप इनके एडवर्टाइजमेंट में नोटिस करोगे सेकंड इफ दे हैव मेंशन यहाँ पे नहीं दे हैव ठीक है सो अगेन लाइक एवरी अदर यूनिवर्सिटी यहाँ पे दे हैव मेंशन स्टूडेंट्स कैंडिडेट्स विलिंग टू टेक एडमिशन टू बेस नीड टू ऑप फॉर दिस यूनिवर्सिटी एज वन ऑफ द ऑप्शंस इन द प्रेफर्ड लिस्ट 
जो कि इस साल एज अ ऑप्शन नहीं आया था कोई प्रेफरेंस लिस्ट नहीं थी सीयूटी के फॉर्म में एंड आल्सो एंड आल्सो नीड टू फिल सेपरेट ऑनलाइन एप्लीकेशन ऑन देयर वेबसाइट ठीक है सो दैट इज व्हाट वी वर डिस्कसिंग कि आपको सेपरेटली इसका फॉर्म फिल करना है फॉर्म लिंक ये रहा यू नीड टू गो टू वेबसाइट एंड एवरीथिंग इज देयर ओके सो ओनली वांटेड टू इन्फॉर्म यू कि या uh, एक और यूनिवर्सिटी है जो दो डोमेन्स ऑफर कर रहा है एमएससी को फाइनेंशियल इको डिसेंट बैच साइज है डिसेंट स्टूडेंट टीचर रेशियो है एंड कंसिडरिंग एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया इतना क्वांट हैवी है सो वी एक्सपेक्ट कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर टू बी ऑन दोज लाइन्स ओनली ठीक है एंड रजिस्ट्रेशन इज ओपन क्लोज इज वन वीक आफ्टर द रिजल्ट इज डिक्लेयर सो दैट सेट जस्ट वॉन्ट टू इन्फॉर्म यू अ क्विक हेड्स अप एंड इन केस एनी वन ऑफ यूर इंटरेस्ट इज जस्ट डू गो थ्रू द प्रोसेस एंड डू गो थ्रू द कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली ठीक है कोर्स स्ट्रक्चर देखना जरूरी है एंड नो नीड टू रश अभी के लिए टेक योर टाइम मे बी आफ्टर द एग्जाम यू कैन फिल द फॉर्म दैट्स कंप्लीटली अप टू यू बट एज अ इन्फो इट्स ओपन अवेलेबल फॉर यू टू गो थ्रू इट ओके थैंक यू सो मच गाइज